Hey friends, welcome to our channel Quick Notes. Today we will be learning Class Six NCERT Geography Chapter Four Maps in the form of question answers. So let's start the video. The first question for today is, what does a map represent? And the answer is Earth's surface. A map is a representation or a drawing of the Earth's surface or a part of it drawn on a flat surface according to a scale. Question number two: What are the different types of maps? Answer is physical maps, political maps, and thematic maps. Maps are of different types. Physical maps which show natural features of the earth. Political maps which show cities, towns, etc. And thematic maps which focus on some particular information. Question number three: What are different components of a map? And they are distance, direction, and symbols. There are three components of maps: distance, direction, and symbols. Distance in a map is drawn to reduce the scales. Most maps contain an arrow marked with the letter N at the upper right-hand corner. This arrow shows the north direction. Symbols are used to represent buildings, roads, bridges, etc. on the maps. These symbols are of universal significance. Question number four: What do political maps show? They show cities, towns, and villages. Political maps show cities, towns, and villages, and different countries and states of the world with their boundaries. Question number five: What is a sketch map? The answer is. A sketch map is a rough drawing of an area. A sketch map is a rough drawing of an area. It is a drawing mainly based on memory and spot observation and not to scale. Sometimes a rough drawing is required of an area to tell where a particular place is located with respect to other places. Question number six. What is the use of direction as a major component of map? Answer is: The direction on a map shows different directions like north, east, west, and south. Direction is an important component of a map. Most maps contain an arrow marked with the letter N at the upper right-hand corner. This arrow shows the north direction. It is called the north line. When we know the north, we can find out other directions. For example, east, west, and south. There are four major directions: north, south, east, and west. They are called cardinal points. Other four intermediate directions are northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. We can locate any place more accurately with the help of these intermediate directions. Question number seven: What is the use of symbols on a map? Symbols are used to represent buildings, roads, bridges, etc. on the map. Symbol is the third important component of a map. It is a universal language on a map. Which is understood by all. It is not possible to draw on a map the actual shape and size of different features, such as buildings, roads, bridges, trees, railway lines, or a well. So they are shown by using certain letters, shades, colors, pictures, and lines. And these symbols give a lot of information in a limited space. With the use of these symbols. Maps can be drawn easily and are simple to read. Question number eight: What is a compass? 
answer is a compass is an instrument used to find main directions. The direction of a place is traced out with the help of a compass. It is an instrument used to find main directions. Its magnetic needle always points towards north south direction. Question number 9. What is a thematic map? A thematic map focuses on a specific information. Thematic map is a map which focuses on specific information, for example, road maps, rainfall maps, maps showing distribution of forests, industries, etc. Suitable titles are given to them on the basis of information provided in these maps. And the last question for today is question number 10. And it is rather interesting. What is the difference between a small scale map and a large scale map? And the answer is a small scale map is used to show large areas and a large scale map is used to show small areas. Scale is the ratio between the actual distance on ground and the distance shown on the map. When large areas like continents or countries are to be shown on a paper, then we use a small scale. For example, 5 cm on the map shows 500 km of the ground. It is called a small scale map. When a small area like village or town is to be shown on paper, then we use a large scale. That is, 5 cm on the map shows 500 meters only on the ground. It is called a large scale map. Large scale maps give more information than small scale maps. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Quick notes.